The Calvin cycle of photosynthesis is a series of chemical reactions that involve capture of carbon dioxide from environment and conversion into sugars. Calvin cycle, also known by various names like light-independent reactions or biosynthetic phase, or we also call it dark reactions or photosynthetic carbon reduction. The whole process occurs in the stroma of chloroplast. The Calvin cycle is operated by 11 different enzymes that catalyze 13 reactions. The key regulatory enzymes Rubisco, FBPAs, SBPAs, and PFKs play a major role in carbon dioxide fixation. Rubisco is the most abundant enzyme on the Earth. As we have seen in previous video during oxygenic process, light energy is converted into ATP and NADPH. Calvin cycle is the second phase of photosynthetic reaction that uses ATP and NADPH to form glucose. The reactions follows as CO2 enters the chloroplast through the stomata and diffuses in the stroma of chloroplast. Rubisco and RBP are already present in the stroma. Rubisco catalyzes a reaction between RP and CO2. This creates a 6-carbon compound, which immediately splits into two 3-carbon compounds, 3-phosphoglycerate. This process is called carbon fixation step. During the second stage, reduction, these 3-carbon compounds are converted into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, or G3P, a simple sugar. 6-ATP and 6-NADPH reduce to provide energy to these steps, so this step is called reduction step. ADP plus and NAD plus molecules return to light-dependent reactions to get re-energized. One of the G3P molecule leave Calvin cycle to contribute in the formation of glucose. In the third step, called regeneration step, remaining G3P molecules are used to recreate ribulose bisphosphate, the starting molecule, which enables system to prepare carbon fixation step. ATP is again used in regeneration of RUBP. Since glucose is six carbon molecule, it takes six turns of Calvin cycle to make one carbohydrate molecule from CO2. Six cycles of Calvin cycle requires 12 ATP and 12 NADPH in reduction step and six ATP in regeneration step. In 1957, Calvin published The Path of Carbon in Photosynthesis in Journal Science. Calvin was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1961 for discovering how plants turn carbon dioxide into sugar. In conclusion, the Calvin cycle is a vital process that allows plants to convert carbon dioxide into glucose. It works in three stages, carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration. It's a perfect example of nature's ingenuity, converting sunlight into energy in a form that can be stored and used when needed. So the next time you marvel at the greenery around you, remember the intricate Calvin cycle that's happening in each leaf, tirelessly producing the energy that sustains life on our planet. It's not just a process, it's the very essence of life itself.